Hello and good morning to UPSC viewers. I am Suri. So today's topic is blood and constituents. Blood contains a fluid part called plasma. The red blood cells present in the blood, also known as erythrocytes, have the red colored pigment called hemoglobin, and it is this hemoglobin that binds the oxygen that is inhaled and transports it to all the cells. The cells are formed in the red bone marrow and have a lifetime of 120 days. The spleen is known as the graveyard of the red blood cells. It is a place where they are destroyed. There are other types of cells in the body known as white blood cells. These are also called leukocytes. They help fight germs that enter the body. White blood cells are of the following type. So, yeah. White blood cells. Number one, neutrophils. These destroy foreign bodies. Next, basophils. These are released in response to inflammations in our body. Then, eosinophils. These are also released in response to allergic reactions. Lymphocytes. These are again a part of the immune system and are used to fight foreign bodies or germs. And finally, monocytes. These are also a part of the immune system and help destroy the foreign bodies that enter our body from outside. The platelets also present in the blood are the final category and they are known as thrombocytes. It is these platelets that are responsible for the clotting of blood and as we had studied in the last lecture, vitamin K deficiency is responsible for lack of blood clotting which is excessive bleeding. So vitamin K is responsible for formation of these platelets or thrombocytes. Similarly when carbon monoxide is inhaled, it reacts with this hemoglobin to form carboxyl hemoglobin compound and that reduces the oxygen carrying capacity of the blood and therefore carbon dioxide inhaled through smoke or cigarettes etc is dangerous. Next types of blood group. So under this type there are four main types to be studied. Blood cells can have four antigens A, B, AB and O. The O negative is the blood group known as the universal donor whereas the AB positive is known as the universal recipient. Next is a topic on blood flow. So blood flows through the arteries and veins. Arteries carry oxygen rich blood from the heart to different parts of the body and that is why the blood under this is under high pressure and the flow of blood is very rapid therefore the walls of the arteries are thick and elastic whereas veins carry carbon dioxide rich blood to the heart therefore they have thin walls and the, there are walls present inside the veins there are walls that allow blood flow only in one direction. Finally, when our muscles are under tremendous activity, the lack of oxygen causes anaerobic respiration. That is, anaerobic means without the presence of oxygen. And lactic acid is released in the muscles and this causes cramps. And to release from these cramps, we have to massage that muscle part slowly, this will increase the oxygen level in that muscle, the supply of oxygen and slowly the lactic acid will be decomposed. We also yawn when the body does not get enough oxygen and this happens when we are drowsy and our breathing slows down. So to compensate for the lack of oxygen, we yawn so that excess air can enter the body. Next topic is blood oxidation and purification. So, during respiration, the procedure is that the ribs, the rib cage of the body, move upwards and below.
below the rib cage the diaphragm moves down and there is a chest cavity between them whose size increases and as the size increases air from outside is sucked inside the chest cavity and the opposite happens during exhaling the rib cage moves down and the diaphragm comes back into its original position and this reduces the chest cavity so the air present in the chest cavity is pushed outside the body you should note that respiration is a exothermic reaction which means that heat is evolved in respiration similarly reactions caused during the decomposition of waste are also exothermic reactions when body when the veins or arteries have to transport blood to and from minor parts like tissues etc they form capillaries and these capillaries take the blood to the tissue when blood capillaries in the kidneys filter waste material we get urine and this urine is then passed into the urinary bladder through the ureters and finally the urethra which is connected to the ure urinary opening is the place through which the urine is excreted so first urine goes is formed in the kidneys then it passes into the urinary bladder through the ureters and via the urethra it is passed into the urinary opening and outside the body but this procedure does not work when the kidneys malfunction and this is when an artificial kidney is required for filtering blood this procedure is called dialysis and is useful when the natural kidneys of the body cannot filter the waste pulmonary artery you can see in this diagram okay sorry so there is a pulmonary artery that carries carbon dioxide rich blood from the heart into the lungs the pulmonary vein carries oxygen rich blood from the heart to the heart from the lungs so the pulmonary artery is the only artery that carries carbon dioxide rich blood whereas the pulmonary vein is the only vein that carries oxygen rich blood we call the pulmonary vein a vein because it transports blood from the organs which is the lungs to the heart so any blood vessel that transports oxygen or transports blood from organs to the heart is a vein and therefore even though this pulmonary blood vessel carries oxygen rich blood it is a vein whereas the other pulmonary blood vessel carries carbon dioxide rich blood but artery is a blood vessel that carries blood from heart to lungs that is why this is known as the pulmonary artery right so the next part is on the human heart our heart has four chambers two are atria and two are ventricles so there are four chambers the right most part of the heart the right atria and below it the right ventricle have deoxygenated blood which is co2 rich blood whereas the left atria and the ventricle have oxygenated blood which is purified and filled with oxygen and this blood is then transported to other parts of the body so the ventricle both right and left they have very thick walls as they have to pump blood to different parts or different organs of the body that was it about blood and constituents certain miscellaneous facts are given this is the last topic under this miscellaneous parts organized organisms that need energy to regulate body temperature have separate oxygenated and deoxygenated blood containers so like human beings who need to regulate their body temperature between 35 to 42 degree celsius they need separation of oxygen and co2 rich blood however there are other organisms that regulate the body temperature based on temperature of the surroundings frogs are one of the examples and such organisms can tolerate mixing of blood then there are certain hydra and sponges that don't have a circulatory system for blood 
the water that flows through their body carries food and oxygen and throws out the waste material so they do not need a circulatory fluid like blood as water does all the tasks as i told you previously urine is the mode of excreting waste for humans however not all organisms excrete through urine birds and in insects excrete uric acid whereas fishes excrete ammonia ammonia is highly toxic and so needs lots of water for excretion but fishes have a lot of water available with them and that is why the mode of excretion is ammonia whereas birds and insects don't have water in that many quantities so they need to excrete their waste material in the form of uric acid uric acid is the least toxic and so doesn't need water for excretion that is why you can see that the waste of birds and insects is a very thick pasty uh, fluid whereas humans are intermediate moderate amount of water is needed to excrete urine and so the mode of excretion of various organisms depends on the availability of water so that is the final part there is also a chapter wise review and uh, yeah you can go through this solve this five questions and say you get more than 80% marks then you can move to our next chapter so that will be all for this day thank you and best of luck